They only watch the first 10 seconds. Wait. They only watch the first 10 seconds? Everyone, I'm Matthew Cornwell with Get Taped here in Atlanta, Georgia, one of Atlanta's original audition taping services. I run it with my lovely wife, Brooke. There she is. And now on to our topic, the first 10 seconds. Let's start by talking about YouTube videos. If you look at the audience retention, it drops off substantially in the first few seconds of any video. That makes sense because the audience is here voluntarily, and if they don't see something immediately that catches their attention, well, they're on to the next video. But for casting directors, they solicited your video, so of course they're more interested in watching the whole thing. After all, it's their job to find the right actor for each role. Ooh, wouldn't it be nice to see the analytics for your audition videos? Huh. Side note, for a hot second, the casting website castit.com would show you how many views your audition videos had after you had submitted them. So if you got zero views on your audition, you're thinking, wait, did it actually even get seen by casting? If they only watched 10 seconds, does that count as a full view? You can see how this would send actors down a rabbit hole that wouldn't always be healthy. I reached out to their customer support and they weren't even aware the feature was active. So within a week, coincidentally or not, that feature was removed. But now back to our topic. Do casting directors really only watch the first 10 seconds of your audition video? Well, that depends on the casting office, the schedule they're under, and other factors like, is your tape early or late? Were you someone they actually requested or did someone from your team strong arm your tape into the mix? Have they already decided on a different age, ethnicity, or sex after your tape was submitted? But largely I wanna focus on why a casting director doesn't need to see more than the first 10 seconds of your audition video in order to see what it is you're selling. In the same way that I don't need to drink the whole can of soda to know what tab tastes like. You guys remember tab? And for the rest of this video, we're talking about self-taped auditions because here in the Southeast, that is 95% of all TV and film auditions. And as of 2020, all the other major markets are switching towards self-taped auditions as well. From the moment you show up on screen, Casting has already made most of their decision on you. Why? Is that fair? Yes, it is fair. Because if you were to book the job, the audience would make the same assessment the moment you show up on screen. Within an instant of seeing you, they're making judgments about your character, your motivations, and whether you're believable in that role. See, as humans, we've been endowed with this crazy intuition that allows us to pick up on dozens and dozens of characteristics upon seeing someone walk into a room or show up on screen. And not just in stories, I'm talking in life. This natural intuition is largely unconscious for most people. In fact, it gets suppressed because we're told throughout life to don't judge a book by its cover. However, casting directors listen to this intuition. Heck, they stake their job on it. So the moment they press play on your audition tape, they're listening to that intuition the instant your video starts. Do you fit the tone of the show? Do you look like you compliment the other actor in the scene that's already been cast? Do you have the right feel for the character based on your natural characteristics? And all of those factors have nothing to do with your talent. So you could be killing that opening moment, filling it with so much life and depth. But if you aren't already the right fit for the tone of the character or the show, then no amount of talent will make up for that. Therefore, they don't need to watch the rest of your audition to know that you're just not right for this role. On the other hand, let's say you look perfect for the part but your audition video starts out with you looking like a frightened turtle about to go into its shell. Well, then they have no need to watch the rest of your audition video because if you get that nervous in a self-taped audition, what's it gonna be like when you're on set and there are 35 crew members staring at you? And if your opening moment is great and you look perfect for the role, well then presumably, the rest of your audition will just reconfirm that over and over again. Back to my soda analogy, if the first sip tastes exactly as expected, well, then it stands to reason that the rest of the can will also taste the same. So if casting is pressed for time and they have 50 audition videos for this role to get through, you could see how watching only the first 10 seconds is an extremely efficient way for them to narrow down their 50 choices to maybe 10. At which point, it's safe to assume they would watch all of the audition videos for those top 10 as a way to further narrow down their choices to their final selects that they will pass to producers or the director. And if they're not pressed for time, most casting directors I've talked with say they do watch every audition submitted in its entirety. That should be a relief to you actors. And the reason they do is because they asked for your tape. So they want to watch it. Because even if you're not immediately right for this role, they need to continue to educate themselves on what you will be right for in the future. Whether it's another role in this movie, another episode in this show, or another project completely. After all, it's their job to get to know actors and know how to cast them. 
So what's the takeaway in all this? Well, if you've taped multiple takes and you're deciding on which one to submit and all the other factors are pretty much equal, choose the take that has the strongest opening. But the real lesson in this video is who cares? You shouldn't be obsessing over this. As long as you've been well-trained, your craft is not in question. And if you don't have some good years of training, yes, I said years, then that should be your main priority right now. So if it's not your training, then it's all these other factors that are contributing to the casting decisions. So the only real question that remains is, do you know what you're selling? Most actors don't. Most actors are trying to become something that they aren't, thinking that they're a chameleon that can convince casting that they're right for everything. Going back to my soda analogy, they're a bottle of squirt that's masquerading as Coke Zero one week and cheer wine the next. Oh, I love cheer wine. But casting sees right through that. And the reason you don't have a firm grasp on the product you're selling is because you live inside the product. You are the only person that experiences you on the inside. The entire rest of the world has a common shared experience of you from the outside. Think about that. How could you possibly understand how the rest of the world experiences you if you're living inside yourself? Sure, you get clues throughout your whole life of what people think of you, but a lot of it you actually end up discarding. So it's hard to build a comprehensive picture of how the outside world views you. So with the last few seconds that I have, I want to talk about the Sam Christensen image process. Brooke and myself are facilitators for this process here in Atlanta, although we do offer this process over Zoom as well, which means it doesn't matter where you live, you can participate in this process. I won't go through the whole spiel here, so check out the links in the description below to our website and to our sister YouTube channel. Because once you fully understand the product you're selling, it makes auditioning so much easier. When you submit your audition, you feel more peace and joy in this art of acting, less tension and anxiety over whether you did what they wanted and why they did or didn't cast you. I took the process in 2011, and that, my friends, has made all the difference in my career. As always, feel free to leave some comments below or email us. That's it for now. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on set.